So right in front of me, I have both the OnePlus 12 and the OnePlus 12R. Now just looking at them straight on, can you tell which one is which? They look very, very similar. I'll give you a little hint. My SIM card is actually in the OnePlus 12. So if you look up here at the top right, that's right, my SIM card is in this device right here, which is OnePlus's main mid-range device right now, the OnePlus 12R. And I'm kind of calling this like the flagship mid-range and you'll see here in a bit. But of course, over here is the OnePlus 12, which is OnePlus's main flagship device right now at the moment and in this video I kind of just want to do a quick comparison between both of these devices and I'm really surprised at just kind of how weirdly similar they are even though they're obviously different now of course the OnePlus 12 is going to offer higher specs than the OnePlus 12 are right here but again in a way they are very similar but before we start taking a look at everything here let's go ahead and start off with the price of both of these devices now go ahead and actually pull them up here on oneplus's website so as you can see for the oneplus 12 this is starting at just 799 so around 800 bucks for the base model coming with 12 gigabytes of ram 256 gigabytes of storage and then of course you have another model coming with 16 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage now over here the 12r is starting at just around 500 bucks so that's a 300 dollar difference between both of these devices right here and the oneplus 12 is already an amazing deal for a flagship device compared to other flagships on the market but if you want to take your savings to another level and save even more money an extra 300 bucks and that's where the 12r comes in starting at just you know like i said around 500 bucks for the base model with 8 gigabytes of ram 128 gigabytes of internal storage and then 16 gigabytes of ram with 256 gigabytes of internal storage for the next model now both do offer two colors but that second very special color for both of these we got blue over here flowy em emerald over here did i say bluey i've been watching too much bluey with my kids we got cool blue over here and that model only comes with 16 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage and the flowy emerald only comes with the higher end storage over here as well but again a 300 difference so keep that in mind as we take a look at both of these devices here so looking at the displays again as you can see very very similar now the oneplus 12 does have a slightly, slightly bigger display than the OnePlus 12R, but I mean, as you can see, it is hardly noticeable. I mean, holding them in hand, they both pretty much feel like they're the same size. If I put them right next to each other, they both look exactly like they're the same size as you can see right there. Really hard to tell the difference. Now, if I go over to the back, as you can see, the OnePlus 12 has a nice premium look to it. Got a nice premium feel, soft to the touch, nice uh, frosted feel in the back. But if you go to the OnePlus 12R, same thing. It's got a matte finish, a nice frosted feel to the back, soft to the touch. Now the blue color does not come in this uh, matte finish. It's actually a glossy finish. So if you're more of a matte lover like myself, then I recommend going with the iron gray color right here. But again, looking very similar in the back. Now I will say that the camera module on the OnePlus 12 looks just you know a bit more premium than the one on the OnePlus 12R, which is to be expected. Of course, we do have that Hasselblad uh, branding with that camera module in the back as well. Now we do get a main lens, ultra wide angle lens and a telephoto lens on the OnePlus 12. But when it comes to the OnePlus 12R, we're getting a main lens, of course, ultra wide angle lens and a macro lens instead of a telephoto lens. So you're going to be able to take pictures up super, super close instead of having a good zoom. Now, some people might not like that. Some people might like that. Me personally, I prefer a telephoto lens over a macro lens. But again, this is $300 less right here. And this is a, you know, their mid range device. But again, as you can see, very similar. It's not until you start looking super, super close at everything to really tell the difference. So if I took a look at the camera module and power button back here, you can see they're more spaced out on the OnePlus 12R than they are on the OnePlus 12. And then going to the top of both of these, you can also see that the speaker opening is just a little bit bigger on the OnePlus 12 than it is on the OnePlus 12R. And then going over here to the slider, Again, you can see that the slider is just a little bit wider on the, or longer on the OnePlus 12 than it is on the OnePlus 12R. So just very, very small differences here, as you can see when it comes to uh, both of these devices. Now I am using the in-display uh, fingerprint sensor with both of these. So the one on the uh, OnePlus 12R works great, works every single time. And honestly, I mean, they work just as fast as one another. So here's the OnePlus 12. 
and I mean, they both work great. They never miss. So very fast when it comes to that in-display fingerprint sensor on both of these. Now, when it comes to overall performance, I mean, both, you're getting 120 hertz of smoothness with both of these displays, both high resolution displays. And honestly, I mean, just using them both side by side, I mean, they both perform very, very well. I mean, very smooth. You're getting a very smooth experience with both of these right here. I would say that the OnePlus 12R, I mean, it's not until you're using them both sides to side by side like this to where you can tell, yes, of course, the OnePlus 12 does run a little bit better than the OnePlus 12R, but just using the OnePlus 12R on a daily basis without the OnePlus 12 next to it, I mean, you're gonna get a smooth experience and you're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, wait a minute, the OnePlus 12 performs better than the OnePlus 12R. No, you're gonna be like, oh, wow, this is actually a pretty smooth, snappy device, you know, for a device that cost around $300 cheaper than the OnePlus 12. So great, super snappy experience with both of these. Of course, again, smooth experience with that 120 Hertz display. Now, just looking at the display itself, when it comes to color, clarity, again, both high resolution displays, I will say that the OnePlus 12, when it comes to colors, that they look just a little bit more vibrant, a little bit on the brighter side than with the OnePlus 12R. But I mean, you really have to look at them both to really be able to tell that difference. Both get just as bright as one another in my uh, opinion here, just based off of my experience. I have both that full brightness right now. And as you can see, I mean, they are very similar when it comes to brightness. I guess the OnePlus 12 looks just a tad bit brighter. Of course, it does have the better display, but again, when it comes to brightness, it looks just a tiny bit brighter than the OnePlus 12R right here. But if we go ahead and go into, let's take a look at a wallpaper here and we can you know, see what the difference is. You know, This has a little bit more color. And as you can see, I mean, the colors look great on both of these right here. Again, I would say that the colors pop just a little bit more on the OnePlus 12 compared to the OnePlus 12R, which me personally, I expect because again, this is their flagship device. But again, beautiful displays on both of these devices, whether I'm just, you know, looking at my home screen or watching content, watching content is enjoyable on both of these displays right here. Playing games is enjoyable on both of these devices as well. Of course, the games are going to run, you know, a little bit better on the OnePlus 12 right here. This is running that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the OnePlus 12R. But did you hear what I just said? The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, that is still a flagship chipset in the OnePlus 12R right here, a mid-range device. That's why I said this is kind of like a flagship mid-range device because you're still getting that 120 hertz display, that high resolution display. You're still getting 80 watt super fast charging, which I haven't mentioned yet. Just like the OnePlus 12 right here, no, you do not get uh, the 50 watt wireless charging. You don't get wireless charging at all on the OnePlus 12R. On the OnePlus 12, you get that do get that super fast 50 watt wireless charging, but you're getting a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on here, which is is a flagship chipset. One that we see on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which still runs like a beast this year, even with the new Galaxy S24 Ultra out. So that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is performing like a boss here on the OnePlus 12R. And usually when it comes to mid-range devices, they don't give those devices flagship chipsets. So that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has this OnePlus 12R running like a flagship device and it handles gaming very, very well. But I will say that the OnePlus 12 does run a little bit better than the OnePlus 12R. When it comes to gaming on the OnePlus 12R, it does warm up just a little bit more than what the OnePlus 12 does. This does have that advanced cooling system. So of course, it's going to be able to stay cooler better than the OnePlus 12R right here. But again, the OnePlus 12R still handles gaming very, very well. Again, it just gets a little bit warmer than the OnePlus 12, but not uncomfortably warm. So it's, I'm not having that feeling of having to, you know, put the phone down if it tends to get a little too warm. It's not, you know, overheating on me, which is a good thing. So I can game comfortably on both of these devices right here. Again, just a little bit better on the OnePlus 12. Now, when it comes to the cameras on both of these devices, again, of course, this is the flagship device, so I would expect it to have better cameras when it comes to both pictures and video, which it does. I mean, I can take some amazing photos 
with the one plus 12 right here. I mean, and I mean some really, really good pictures. I was actually really surprised by the photos I've been able to take with the one plus 12 right here. Now, when it comes to the one plus 12 R, no, I didn't go out and take, you know, the same pictures with both of these devices. I've already taken tons of photos with the one plus 12 right here, but I did go out and take some photos with the one plus 12 R right here. And I will say that, you know, photos are decent. You know, they're not super, super bad, but they're not really, really good either. They're just decent. You're going to be able to get by with these cameras right here. If you're someone, you know, who's not into taking photos all the time, but you know, you still want to be able to capture that special moment when that special moment presents itself, these cameras will get the job done for that. Now, when it comes to video, of course, video is still going to be better on the OnePlus 12. We do have up to 8K video recording on the OnePlus 12 right here. And then when it comes to 4K video recording, we have up to 4K 60 on the OnePlus 12 right here but with the front facing camera we do have 4k video recording when it comes to the oneplus 12r we do have up to 4k 60 video recording but only on the rear facing cameras there is no 4k video recording with the selfie camera only up to 1080p so again if you're not you know someone who's taking video all the time that might not be a big deal to you you'll still be able to capture the videos that you want to capture with the oneplus 12r right here and again it is just decent it's not nothing mind-blowing but again it's not super super bad either it's just decent and it's going to get the job done again with both photos and video so of course camera is better on the oneplus 12. now another area where they are similar to each other is that they both have ir blaster so yes even with this being a mid-range device it's still coming with the ir blaster just like the one plus 12 right here so again another thing that is very similar between both of these devices so when it comes to just overall similarity with both of these again performance great on both displays great on both you're gonna ir blaster with both of them super fast charging with both of them battery life is great on both of these you're getting a 4500 milliamp battery on the one plus 12 and a 4600 milliamp battery on the one plus 12 r but I wouldn't say that battery life is, you know, exactly better on the OnePlus 12R, but they are both very similar and I get around about the same amount of battery life on both of these because of the fact that the OnePlus 12 has that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It's optimized just a little bit better than what the OnePlus 12R is with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So when it comes to, I mean, the OnePlus 12R, if you watch my review video and my all day battery drain test, I mean, this thing is a beast when it comes to battery life. It lasts me all day. So. With the OnePlus 12R, I'm getting that same experience. It is an all-day device, could even be a two-day device, you know, of course, depending on your usage. So battery life on both of these, very similar, just about the same. But overall, I mean, you can't really go wrong with either one of these devices. Both also come with everything in the box. You're still getting the charging brick in the box with both of these. Of course, the charging cable with both of these, your stickers, all your welcome pamphlets and all that stuff that nobody reads. So, I mean, it's really a no-brainer here with both of these. If you want the best from OnePlus right now and still be able to save some money, comparing it to other flagships on the market, then go with the one plus 12. But if you want to save even more money, you don't really care about, you know, the better cameras or the wireless charging 8k video or being able to record in 4k with the selfie camera, then go with the one plus 12 R. Cause honestly, this is going to be able to take of pretty much all of your needs, everything that you need from a smartphone, you'll be able to take care of it with the one plus 12 R here. But like I said, if you want something just a little bit better then spend that little extra money and get yourself the one plus 12 because you will be very satisfied with this device right here you'll be satisfied with either one of these i also got to mention the haptics are just about the same on both of these devices as well it is so satisfying typing on the one plus 12 and i get that same satisfying experience with the one plus 12 r right here as well when it comes to speakers another thing i forgot to mention i will say that the speakers are a lot better on the one plus 12 than they are on the one plus 12 r they're nice and decent on the one plus 12 r they'll get the job done but they just have a nice bassy full sound on the one plus 12 very enjoyable listening experience but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below this was just my quick comparison between the one plus 12 and the one plus 12 r i will have a full review coming with the one plus 12 r right here really covering everything and really sharing my overall experience with this device so if you're not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come if you did like this video and find it helpful make sure you give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come thanks so much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you on the next one peace out